Valentine's Day Jitters, written by Julie Danneberg and illustrated by Judy Love. Valentine's Day was just around the corner and Mrs. Hartwell had the jitters. She was busy planning the class Valentine's Day party and she wanted it to be extra special, just like her students. Remembering some of her party planning issues in the past, Mrs. Hartwell decided to ask her room full of experts for advice. Winter Wonderland. During reading, between helping Emmy with the Band-Aid and searching with Jeff to find a just right reading book, she asked students for suggestions on Valentine's Day craft projects. There was a consensus on glitter, glue, ribbons, and lace. After math class, Mrs. Hartwell high-fived Alexandra for knowing her math facts and gave Jack a sticker for not giving up on his. Then she asked the class for party game recommendations. Her students had lots of ideas. Some she could use, some she couldn't. As everyone lined up for recess, Mrs. Hartwell tied Andy's shoelace and reminded Sergio and Olivia to get their coats. Then she asked the students for advice on the perfect party treat. Cake with extra frosting and sprinkles. The night before Valentine's Day, Mrs. Hartwell worked hard to get everything ready for the party. The cake took a lot of time. It was very complicated. The next day, during lunch and recess, she bustled about, setting up the craft and the games. Can we see the cake? students asked when they came in, excited for another one of Mrs. Hartwell's parties. It's going to be a surprise, she told them. That afternoon, the students handed out their Valentine's Day cards. Then Mrs. Hartwell got them started on the craft project. There was glitter, glue, ribbons, and lace. It turned out a little bit messier than Mrs. Hartwell expected. Oh my, she said. Next up, games. Laughter rang out as students played Pin the Smile on the Teacher, Bean Bag, Heart Toss, and Candy Heart Bingo. It was a bit livelier than Mrs. Hartwell expected. Oh dear, she said. Finally, it was time for her extra special cake surprise. Mrs. Hartwell couldn't wait. She knew it would be the perfect ending to a less than perfect party. The students were definitely surprised. Is it supposed to look like that? Jack whispered to Maria. Oh no, wailed Mrs. Hartwell. This party is a disaster. I wanted it to be extra special. I wanted to show you how much I care. For a minute, the students looked confused. Then they laughed. But you show us that every day, they said. Silly Mrs. Hartwell, said Alexandra, patting her on the back. The students decided to take charge. Some of them helped Mrs. Hartwell clean the frosting out of her hair and the glue off her shoes. Sort of. Some of them raced to clean up the mess. Sort of. And some of them fixed the cake. Sort of. But all of them took turns working on an impromptu valentine for Mrs. Hartwell. They wanted it to be extra special, to show her how much they cared. Once again, the classroom rang with laughter. At the end of the day, the students gave Mrs. Hartwell their creation. Happy Valentine's Day. They cheered. Mrs. Hartwell smiled. It's perfect, she said. Just like you, Emmy said. Everyone agreed it was the best Valentine's Day party ever. Well, almost. Where are my shoes? I can't wait to see what extra special plans Mrs. Hartwell has for St. Patrick's Day.